Good day, everyone. It's August 9th. It's a Thursday. It's 2018. There are baseball games to be picked and to be won. It is about 4 o'clock. There's some games going on. I wasn't even paying attention to the score. I think we would have lost this game. I think Washington won. And Minnesota and Cleveland are tied at 4. And Milwaukee is doing just about this to San Diego in like the 6th or 7th inning. So we're going to move on to the other games because we're still getting lineups in. And I have lineups so far in for these five games all the way through eight forty actually sorry just these four games I do not have the Dodgers Colorado or Pittsburgh San Francisco lineups matter so let's talk about these four games right here Texas and the Yankees um, you can see it's expecting a really high scoring game Hap pitching a second game I think for the Yankees Gerardo's okay and pretty good pitcher interesting that's that it's thinking so many runs heavy lineup factors for both teams uh, and they're pretty offensive. So thinks the Yankees are going to pull it off. Doesn't really think it's worth the line, though. So maybe Texas plus one and a half, even though Yankees, I think, beat them pretty hard last night. Not a bad pick. It, it wants you to actually take Texas to win the game at plus 201 because I guess it can happen. So, wow. All right, that's what it's saying. Um, I, I'm not that I, – I don't think I can straight up pick Texas, but I could take Texas plus one and a half in that position with the Yankees at home. I would consider it. Boston and Toronto. Boston, another high-scoring game uh, that it's seeing right now. And, of course, Boston is our team. Uh, I'll go and show you another pivot in a second about teams and how they're winning. I love Boston. Boston is nice this time of year. I'll say it every video. So, I, I look at that, 60 to 24. If they lose, so be it. You just have to go with them. Um, at 154, it's more than worthy, uh, worth it. Baltimore, Tampa Bay, big, huge loss for Tampa Bay last night, late in that game, cost me a huge swing on a bunch of round robins and parlays because I had seven picks, and I got five out of the seven right. That would have been the sixth. Oh, it was a close game. Their favorite again today, not a great line because Baltimore's awful. Pitching situation, don't have pitching stats. They drew, they, they fell apart on me last night. Um I don't know what to do here. I, I don't really want to pay this, even though Baltimore is not great. Uh, I, I kind of want to stay away from the game, but yeah, I guess Tampa Bay is what the file says to do. All right, Seattle and Houston. Doesn't like either of those kids. Wow, there's a lot of non-action today, huh? Does like Houston as a favorite. Uh, there's been some inside information uh, commentary I've read on some people that, uh, you know, users of the file and viewers kind of wondering if this is some funny business here. Um, it's funny how the, the file is actually predicting that Seattle outscores Houston. That's so weird. And it's a close game. I guess I like Seattle plus one and a half here, probably, based on what this is saying. So, uh, But it doesn't really like picking anybody, although it does think that Houston's going to win the game. We don't have lines for the Dodgers in Colorado, and apparently that's wrong. That's got to be wrong. It's probably this. I think I typed that in wrong. Um, that's probably correct. And that would make sense. Doesn't like either of them. Pittsburgh and San Francisco. It slightly likes Pittsburgh. Yeah, that would make sense. Pittsburgh's probably a good bet here. Especially if you can get Pittsburgh plus one and a half. That's a great bet in that spot. I like that a lot. So that's what the file looks like today. Not a lot of action to choose from on this Thursday. Let's take a look at the bankroll. How we do yesterday. We had a five and four day yesterday. Slight like breaking even or losing a little bit, but there were 14 games yesterday, and we won a lot of those other games as well. If you kind of look at the results sheet and see what happened yesterday, we um, a lot of these games it didn't give us a bet score above zero, but we we had the right team win percentage wise. Just means that even though the, the file wasn't telling us to bet the game, we're still the win percentage, the win strength is still working well. And actually, I picked up Pittsburgh against Colorado here yesterday. Pittsburgh managed to win that game. You can see how close that was, 27 to 32. But it predicted that Pittsburgh would be right up there. And that's why I took Pittsburgh plus one and a half. That was just fine. Um, what else was there? Philadelphia was a big loss. There were some big, big names that got hurt yesterday and did nothing, right? So there was the Cubs got destroyed. Philly got destroyed. Cincinnati got destroyed. Tampa lost that tough one. But all these all these other teams, Boston, great, right? 
Cleveland, Oakland, Yankees. So let's take a look at by team because you know we're still doing we're doing just fine. We're still we're still making units, you know, here, right? Uh, over the last week. Well, let's look at it by team. You're really focused on who to pick. And if we sort this by profit, you can see this is why I keep saying to go take Boston because we've played Boston six times in this, you know, how many day period, right? This is a 10 day period, it looks like. We played them 60% of the time and we get 88% ROI on your money. I mean, it's just like bet them, right? Oakland, my God, we hit them on their hot streak as well. 50% ROI, eight, eight trials with Oakland. Atlanta's been reliable. Kansas City, for some reason, has the highest it's between the White Sox and Kansas City. The file picked off when, when to pick them off. So that's why I listen to the file and those numbers and why I look at Texas. Texas up 39%. What is it telling us to do here? It's telling us to take Texas against the Yankees. And I, you know, I, I'm considering it because I, you know, I don't want to trust it, but I, I, I don't want to argue with this. So then there's um, <clears throat> San Francisco has been one to know for us. That's surprising. Milwaukee, okay. Is there anybody that's playing Yankees? Cleveland Yankees are returning a small amount. Then we started to get into our trouble teams, right? Tampa Bay has not been really. Cleveland's the real one. That's look at that eight games, and we're losing money with them. So it's favoring them a lot, but we're not hitting with them. Cubs, interesting. Now, that's a surprise. I did not think I would have been in that kind of shape with the Cubs. Eight times, wow. And Colorado, of course, because we're over-inflating Colorado's stats. So, very interesting stuff. I'm going to continue to do more work and implement things. And I'm going to be on the road. I may actually go to the St. Louis Cardinals-Kansas City Royals game tomorrow night. And, yeah, I'm in Virginia right now. Yeah, I, I might actually do that. Um, and be reporting from there. So I'll let you guys know. Not like anybody cares. <laughs> but, um, I'm going to go out there and do some more baseball, work on this file, and, of course, get this up while I'm on the road and do the updates. I don't know if there's going to be videos. If they are, they're going to be weird. They're going to be for me wherever, talking to random people. So get ready for that. Um, but, yeah, we're still crushing it, and I, I feel like I've almost like we're mastering baseball. It's time to move on to football. That's the thing. It's time to move on to football. And, and run them both. So you're going to see me doing some football videos. There's preseason tonight, so I, I got to start on that too. Anyway, we're rolling. May your picks be winning, as always.